how do I know I need to detox? I keep hearing this word, I keep seeing people talk about it. Oh, this is good for detoxification. Eat these foods, all this stuff. But how do I know I'm doing the right thing for my body? And how do I know that this is really gonna make a difference for me? These are a lot of questions that people have when looking at overall detoxification. Now, a couple things to think about when you're looking at detoxification is that your body should do parts of detoxification naturally. It should just happen, right? Your skin, your sweat, right? Your urinary system, right? your kidneys filtering things, your digestive system, your liver, certain organs detox your body naturally. But unfortunately for some people, you might have a genetic issue. You might have too much stress. Your system might be overloaded with too many toxins around and within you with everything that you're exposed to and things that you eat where your system just gets overloaded and it cannot keep up with the pace of detoxification right? Um, I work with a lot of women. I mean, thousands of women that I have worked with in my career. And one of the common things that I find is that there are so many symptoms that are very similar between hormone issues and the fact that your system just needs to detox. Now, also the overall imbalance of hormone can come about because your system is not flushing through those hormones properly. Estrogen actually gets metabolized or detoxed through your body in three different phases. Of the three phases, for estrogen detoxification. Two of them happen in the liver. The first and second one happen in the liver. The third one actually happens in your gut. So that means if your liver is doing all these great things, but your digestive system is, you're not gonna detox that well. What can that lead to? It can lead to cycle issues, PMS issues. It can lead to more hot flashes, night sweats, weight gain, weight loss resistance, all of these things. And there's a lot of gals that have conditions like endometriosis, adenomyosis, PCOS, fibroids, things like that. They have an issue with actually both, I find, with both liver and gut detoxification. So what are some other things then that can impact you and, and some uh, signs? you know, that, that maybe, maybe you would benefit from a detox. If you have a lot of fatigue, right? You just kind of feel, oh, worn down, run out all the time. If you feel puffy, bloated, like you're retaining water. Sometimes people describe it as they wake up in the morning and like their hands feel really stiff and puffy. Or you're like, gosh, sometimes I can't get my wedding rings on. Sometimes I wear a certain shirt and it's tighter than other times. What the heck? right? You can actually have the scale go up and down by several pounds just from inflammation or water weight. That's a sign that you would benefit from some type of detoxification. Now, there's also some other skin issues that can go along with this. This is mirrored with your gut issues. If you had gut, have gut disruption, bloating, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, feel like, oh, I have a sensitive stomach, right? And then you have skin issues. This can be acne, this can be rashes, red patches, dry flaky skin, little bumps on your skin somewhere. This is all a signal that your system really needs to detox. Again, related with the gut. Um, it is said <clears throat> that the skin is a mirror of what's going on in your gut because you can't see your gut, but your skin is actually a really good mirror of it. Um, you might also have brain fog, right? You might also have some brain fog. Um, some people describe it as just like a, you're not quite as sharp mentally, right? Oh, I'm not quite as sharp. Or what was that word? Or, um, oh, I'm just not thinking as clearly as I normally do. Yep. That's a good sign that you need to detox. And then you can also have other mood swings. Um, it can interrupt your overall disposition. Some people might experience more anxiety, more depression, things like that. And of course, these things can vary person to person. Um, but a combination of these things is a really good signal that your body might benefit from doing some type of detoxification, clearing it out. So one of my favorite supplements for this is the detox support. This targets the liver and really helps this get going, which again is a great thing for your overall hormones um, to clear things out, everything else. Are there different types of detoxification? Absolutely. Would you benefit from sweating, getting lots of water and minerals in? Yes, limiting sugars things like that, absolutely. You know, doing a sauna or an Epsom salt bath, a steam room, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, can you do detoxification with foods? You, you can use foods that can help, absolutely, but sometimes if your gut is not functioning super well, then it can be harder 
for your body to absorb all those nutrients it would need to do a really good job with that detoxification. So that's why I find it really helpful. And especially if you have a genetic issue with detoxification, having a supplement to help your body detox is phenomenal. So those are some of my, you know, recommendations, suggestions for that. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, if you're looking for more information on hormones in general or how to eat for your hormones, you can check out my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, as well as make sure you subscribe to my podcast, The Female Health Solution. I have a ton of great episodes coming up that you will not want to miss. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube as well to stay updated on all my videos.